You ever feel like Christopher Walken is, like, right behind you? I know, it's weird, but I really, really feel like if I turned around, boom, there he is, you know. Weird. Uh, the other day, I went to bed. And then I woke up. Then yesterday, I did the same thing. Good story so far, right? Yeah. It is possibly the best story you will ever hear. So, deal with it. Uh, today, there was a significant difference uh, between uh, the day before, because uh, there were a lot more people onto me old YouTube page than there had been. And most of you have let yourself be known that uh, you came from Dave's shout-out, which, thank you again, Dave. Completely ill-deserved kind words, but nevertheless, thank you. Uh, yeah, so, you're here. I don't I will never know why. Why people subscribe to this will always confound me, and I've gotten over it. You come, you enjoy yourself, usually one precedes the other, and we'll wrap. But here's the thing. Usually, when people subscribe, I will write them a personalized message. Not anything of value, mind you, it's just usually a random little bit of but everybody gets their own one. And uh, with 20 plus people showing up at the front door all at once, <laughs> I ain't that creative, y'all. Not that anyone suspected I was, but what I've decided to do to sort of compensate and to still say hello, because I couldn't care less what the numbers are. I really, people say that, I mean it. It's cool that so many of you showed up. I hope that we stay together really want this to work. But even if there were just two of you, this is for me. This isn't for whatever. Hopefully you find something you like. If you don't, you leave. No hard feelings. Goodbye. But for the people who come, I'd like to get to know you. So this is me throwing the ball out there. And if you don't want to get to know me, that's fine. I'll cry myself to sleep, but it's okay. But to still somehow give the personalized greeting and compensate for the fact that there are so goddamn many of you all of a sudden. I've decided to write all of your names down, everyone who showed up, and I'm going to say something about each and every one of you. And if you don't like what I have to say, then I think maybe you should make a video saying something bad about me. Or good. I mean, good would be nice, but you know, let's be honest. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, once upon a time, Electrical, Electrica Adventures, Electric Adventures, taught me how to read. And it didn't go so well, as you can tell. And then Rath Oskvro, uh, this individual helped teach me how to read, but then spilled grape soda all over my nice white shirt that I was going to wear in conference with the Pope. And this person did that because they know not big on the Pope. So they were all, nope, nope, no Pope for you. You have grape on your shirt and you can't change your shirt, so go sit down and don't meet the Pope. Nope on the Pope. Thank you, Rath. Uh, Shinma Ryu sneezed in my face. It was not cool. But I got bubblegum stuck in this person's hair on purpose. And you ever try to get bubblegum out of somebody's hair? Me neither, because I was kind of like, there you go. Uh, one S M S X to go. Wears togas all the time. Like, it's actually to a fetish level. I'm a little worried about you, frankly. But at the same time, you look goddamn good in a toga, so. J Cobra! Cobra! Is not a snake. He is actually, or she... This person is actually a, a sorcerer who can change shape and gender all the time. So if you think this person's a cobra, it's just because you saw them in one of their many forms. But, bizarrely enough, their body does make the shape of a J. So that part's true. Uh, Benin Bodensi kicked me in the face wearing... A shoe made out of a potato? I did not appreciate that. 
But it tasted pretty good because it was actually a baked potato. So when it kicked me, I was like, ah, nah, nah, ooh, potato. This is what you signed up for, y'all. So <laughs> deal with it. Uh, SNK, Neo Geo Man. Geo Man! He's, he's a superhero in the geology department, or she. I would hope it's a man. I mean, why would you take the time to say Geo Man if you're not a man? You're trying to trick us? Are you a villain? You're not a superhero at all, are you? Scared! Eight Dragon Quest! This is a crazy bitch. You're crazy. Just no. You are crazy? Get your shit and get out. Actually, no. I want you to stay, because you're crazy. You're my kind of crazy. I don't know what this is. But, give me back my Twizzlers. I know you freaking stole them. You took them, and you put them on top of the roof, because you know I'm afraid of heights, and you know I'm not going to get them back. Jerk! Oh, my goodness. FPS Monster Gaming! Took out my innards and wrapped them up very nice for me. Wow! We're going all white. Oh, my God! Took out my innards for me. And I wrapped them up real nice and gave them to me for my birthday. And I really appreciated that because, you know, I needed those. Not sure why you took them out in the first place. And it sounds really messy. And I don't know how I don't remember it. But I'm very happy to be complete again. So thank you. Blink WS3! Stole my polar bear. Just the one, though. Which, yeah, you could probably keep him. I mean, he's, he's pretty docile, he's fuzzy, you might eat your face, but you stole him! <laughs> oh, lord. XAJG1982X. I almost sound like I'm reading off radio names, only not appropriate ones. Not that they're inappropriate. Unlike XAJG1982X, who is very inappropriate. Oh my goodness, this person put chocolate on their ice cream. Scandalous. Holy crap. And then fed it to a wallaby. Not even kidding. This was... Look it up. You won't find anything. You know why? Because the government covered it up. That's why. Yeah, I really hope there isn't a Christopher Walken behind me because it he might be burning his face into my TV or my portal that might be behind me. I'm a ninja bear hug. Ninja bear hug. Hello, ninja bear hug. What is going on with the lights? Look at what happened. See, ninja bear hug is another sorcerer, but he's he or she is a sorcerer of light. Every time you say their name, it's kind of like Beetlejuice. You say it enough, and he shows up. Well, in this situation, you say ninja bear hug enough, and the lights disappear, and then they come back, and it's crazy. But it's okay, because we are friends. We are not foes. I hope. Otherwise, I'm going to have to white balance the shit out of the rest of my life. Uh, Dr. Haber, or Haber, or Drubber. Ooh, maybe it's Drubber. A Drubber is a kind of fish known in the land of... What are you doing?! That's actually the name of the land, and you do have to look away when you say it. Um, in the land of, what are you doing? It's a beautiful place, in spite of the name. It's, it's very peaceful, it's sparkly. Don't drink the water, though. Don't drink the water. They're fish people. What do you think they do in the water? They're dishes. Yeah, they use dishes. You don't believe me? Again, Google it. You're not going to find it, because again, government blackout. And I'm not even talking about my government, I'm talking about, what are you doing? It's government. Anyway, Izer Dabble, Izer Dabble, Izer, Izer, Urs, Urs. You said that Lawn Boy sent you. But do you have the code? Prove it. Prove that he sent you. Alright, I trust you. It, it's okay, everybody. I, the code was telepathic, and this, we got it. We got it. We're cool. We're cool. And watch your language. Izer Dabble, my goodness thinking naughty words at me. Those are not part of the code. <gasps> um, Darren, wash sock. You better wash your damn socks. Because you 
smelly, smelly wildebeest person? McJ-war. McJaguar. That would have been interesting. Is that what you were going for? And you just forgot letters? Because I do that sometimes. Yeah, you know, my name for a while was <laughs> What? Uh, no, this person, in all honesty, uh, is a famous sculptor. You've never heard of them? <sighs> How many more times am I going to have to say it? Blackout! No, this one was actually, uh, this person's famous in a completely different universe. But they kind of come over once in a while, you know, to just kind of keep an eye on how the art world is going, see if there are new things happening, to steal other people's artwork. Yeah, that's right. He's an art caper. Or she. It. It is not a right word. It, there are no its, except Pennywise. He's not behind me, is he? All right, we're almost there, we're almost there. I'll give you back your free time. Ha ha, Jack's on TV! Ha ha! Are you really? Because I'm pretty sure the Angel of Death is on mine. So, just saying. You can be excited about the fact that Jack's on TV, but I got Gabriel. <laughs> I don't know what any of that meant. Neo JC! Neo JC! Gave my grandmother... This could go somewhere terrible very quickly. Is it going to? He gave my mother a jig grandmother a jigsaw puzzle. My my mother he gave her syphilis. In the ear, it's okay. Uh but my grandmother he gave her a jigsaw puzzle or she. This person gave my grandmother a jigsaw puzzle uh while dressed up like a moose. And it confused my grandma so bad that she just solved the puzzle instantly. She literally just went and dropped it on the floor and scrambled to put them together and it was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. For a little while we thought maybe she was a savant, but no, she, she was just scared of Neo JC. Frugal Gamer Flashback! Did you guys ever watch the Frugal Gourmet? He used to touch children though, so you probably shouldn't, but uh... <laughs> a Frugal Gamer Flashback set my toes on fire! and then spilled sprinkles not to help out my toes at all. It was just adding insult to injury. Here, here, I'll set your toes on fire. Now I'm going to spill tasty sugary delights all over the floor that you can't possibly take all the dog hair off of them. Ha ha. Enjoy your burnt toes and your hairy sprinkles. But we're still friends. It's okay. And finally, we are at Cody Jack 2004. America's most wanted terrorist criminal. I shouldn't say terrorist, really, because, you know, people are hypersensitive. When I say terrorist, it's actually uh, synonymous with cuddly panda bear. So, he's America's most cuddly panda bear. Most wanted one. So, or she, again. I wish you people would choose gender-specific names for people like me. My life is so difficult. <laughs> and I'm spitting everywhere. Oh my gosh. Anyway. To every freaking person on that list, and everyone who came before, hello, how are you? Make yourself comfy. Would you like a cold beverage? Go get it yourself. The fridge is that way. You can't see it, though. Ooh, ooh. Ninja Bear Hug, stop it! Anyway. <laughs> Hi. For anyone who didn't get this kind of awesome treatment when you first showed up, I'm sorry. You got other awesome, and you will get awesome if you stay with me. Stay with me, and we'll, we'll make this work. If you And if you don't, stay with me. If this was all a whole bunch of... What the hell did I just sign up for? Doors literally right there. Have fun, nice knowing you, no hard feelings. If you came here because I'm a girl who sometimes does not girl things... That's all I have to say about that. And if... If you can fly, then I think you should fly over here and tell the wind to stop blowing out my pilot light. Because, bitch is going to get smacked if she does it again. My house is going to fill up with gas, and it's going to explode, and I'm going to die, and this is going to be the last freaking thing anyone ever heard from me. Oh my god! Anyway. Hello? 
This is what you're here for, in theory, you sad, strange people. I want to get to know all of you. I wouldn't take the time to call all of you out in public if I didn't actually want to know you. So, video responses, personal messages, carrier pigeons, whatever you have access to, I'd like to get to know you. Let's, let's, be, let's be cool people. Cool people in large groups can only equal more cool, right? Right? Come on. Do it for Gabe. Do it for Christopher Walken. Who I'm going to turn off immediately because I'm pretty sure Christopher Walken's going to be staring disapprovingly at everything from now on. <laughs> anyway, thank you for coming. We're going to skip past that fairly obvious moment there. And hopefully we can enjoy one another. So I'm not making it better, am I? Hmm. And, uh, yeah, have a fan freaking tastic couple of days or months, depending on how long it takes me to get back on here. But, hello! Goodbye! Thank you. Doodles!